With a recent reanimated CSGO update, we've experienced a major M4A1S nerf, which at first was received quite negatively by the community. As always, when a pretty strong weapon in the game gets nerfed, we could see the massive impact on the community market, where thousands and thousands of people started selling their M4A1S skins as soon as possible and started buying M4A4 skins again. But is the M4A1S really that bad now that it's not even worth considering to play this gun at all anymore? In this video I want to compare these two weapons bit by bit and let you decide if the M4A4 is really that much better now. Previous to the reanimated update, the M4A1S was a more expensive weapon with a price of $3200, but now it has the same price as the M4A4 again. $3100 for both of these weapons. The biggest change is probably the reduced rate of fire of the M4A1S now. Previously, both the M4A1S and the M4A4 were shooting at 666.67 rounds per minute, but we have decided to change the rate of fire of the M4A1S down to only 600 rounds per minute now. To visually compare the rate of fire, I decided to record both weapons shooting at 25% of the normal speed up to the point where the M4A1S runs out of the 20 bullet magazine. As you can see right here, by the time the M4A1S runs out of bullets, the M4A4 with a faster RPM shot two additional shots. That might not seem like a whole lot if you see it like this, but in a game like Counter-Strike, a 11% faster shooting weapon can really make a big difference. Then they also slightly increased the base spread of the M4A1S, making it slightly more inaccurate when spraying. Looking at the spray patterns of the M4A4 and the M4A1S though, we can clearly see that the M4A1S still beats the M4A4 by miles when it comes to the accuracy of the spread. On top of that, Valve also intended to reduce the armor penetration of the M4A1S from 70% down to 62%, but they somehow failed to implement that. Looking at the buy menu, you can even see that there is supposed to be a difference between the two weapons, but in practice, the M4A1S still deals the same amount of damage as the M4A4. So when it comes to the damage, these two weapons do not really differ at all, so let's look at the pros and cons that actually do matter. The M4A1S has significantly smaller recoil compared to the M4A4, making it easier to control at long ranges. The downside of the M4A1S are the smaller magazine of only 20 bullets and the 11% slower rate of fire. On the other side, the M4A4 spray pattern is not nearly as compact as the M4A1S is, but therefore comes with 10 additional bullets per magazine and a faster rate of fire. So is the M4A4 the better gun to use at all times? I wouldn't say so. This really depends on the type of playstyle you pursue. I think the M4A1S is still great on maps like Dust 2 or Overpass for example, where you engage your enemies at long range duels and you can really count on the M4A1S's accuracy. On the other hand, I wouldn't really consider the M4A1S the better choice on maps or bomb sites that are really cramped because the 20 bullet magazine could really be a killer if 5 enemies are rushing you. In general, I would say the M4A4 is aimed to be used at close ranges and spots where you have to face more than one enemy at once because that's where the 30 bullet magazine really comes to good use. The M4A1S is still a very strong and useful weapon for defensive players that want to engage their opponents one by one and manage to find the enemy's head without missing a lot of shots. Also in the pro scene you can see both weapons being used after the update. When Team Liquid faced Method two days ago, you could basically only see the M4A1S being played, while the whole team of Fnatic seems to have switched to the M4A4 for now. So did TSM as well, with the only exception being Kerrigan, who managed to clutch a 1 vs 3 situation against Fnatic with his M4A1S in the last round to secure the win for his team. So I personally wouldn't say that the M4A1S became useless after the update and that the M4A4 is the better weapon now. It really all comes down to your personal playstyle and preferences. With that being said, what type of player are you and which weapon do you prefer to play at the moment? The M4A1S or the M4A4? Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video.